Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 24th of July to the 28th of July 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to outline the targets that we're looking for in the coming week, as well as possibly the weeks ahead. So I hope you all had a great weekend and a fantastic week last week. If you are having some troubles with your trading, why not check out our website and see how we can get you trading like the banks and the institutions do using psychology and market structure, not using indicators. And also how we can do that without charging hugely extortionate uh, ripoff fees for courses. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. So first we're going to have a look at the US dollar index. Now the US dollar index came down to the 12,030 area of support over here and it tested this slightly over here giving a little bit of a bounce and accumulation above the support level. It then broke down through this support level here and it pulled back, tested it as resistance before selling a got off again and making its way further to the downside. Now last week we did have targets highlighted at the 11,938 which is the next key area of support on the US dollar index to the downside and further down to the 11,883. Now neither of these targets were hit as you can see last week but price has been making its way down towards these targets. So what we're looking for this week is further declines in the US dollar index. We will have a bearish outlook on the US dollar going into this week. We're expecting the 11,938 to be tested possibly this week. Although just bear in mind, although we have a bearish bias on the US dollar index, we may get a little bit of a pullback, possibly up to the 1200 psychological area before we start to see shorts coming in with the bears taking control and pushing this to the downside. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week, oil did trade into the $47 barrel mark where we suggested that it, we were looking for it to trade into last week. It actually traded above this level before failing as support, coming down and then rejecting as this as a resistance area over here. Now, next week, we are looking for some pullback maybe up into this area over here, possibly even a retest of the $47 barrel mark, although that may be a little bit ambitious. But we're looking for a pullback and then we're going to be looking for some shorts initially down to the $45 a barrel mark down here and a test of the upward sloping trend line, as you can see, anchored on these two points over here. Now, although we will initially be looking for some declines in oil next week, it is only down to the $45 a barrel mark. So, yes, we will start off with a bearish bias on oil. But once we get down to the $45 a barrel mark, we will be neutral on oil because will we get a bounce? And if we get a bounce from this area and we start to see bullish formations in this area, then we're going to look for trades and longs up to the $47 a barrel mark up here. If, however, we get a break through the $45 a barrel mark and also this upward sloping trend line like this, then we're going to be looking for some accumulation and we're going to be looking for shorts at this point down to the 43.752 mark on oil. So as a result, we go into next week with an overall neutral bias on oil. Why? Because even though we're looking for shorts into the $45 barrel mark, we are prepared to play it either way from this area. And the first pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Now Euro US dollar is in a clear uptrend. It's making higher highs, it's making higher lows, and it is starting to push up now. And it's approaching the next key area of resistance on Euro US dollar at the 1.17146. So what we're going to be looking for next week is a pullback in the Euro US dollar, possibly even a pullback to retest the 1.15834, which is a key area of uh, resistance over here. Broken, and now we're looking for a possible test of support. Now, if we get a test of this down here or even just a pullback, and we start to see bullish formations and patterns appearing in the euro us dollar we're going to first of all be looking up to the next key of resistance as target one at the 1.17146 but we are looking for an overall move up to the 1.18084 just bear in mind next week that price may actually trade into the 1.17146 before we get a pullback i mean this is what could act as the resistance and the trade could be from here up towards the 1.18084 in the euro us dollar which we are expecting to go to overall the next pair we're going to look at is us dollar japanese yen now we are expecting some declines in the us dollar index so 
it would be reasonable to expect some declines as well in the US dollar Japanese yen. We are currently in a downtrend and we sit down below this downward sloping trend line here. Now as long as price stays below this downward sloping trend line, we're looking for further declines and we're looking to initiate shorts in the US dollar Japanese yen. We're going to be looking for a pullback possibly to the confluence area of this previous support level over here which was broken after three times of trying. And if we get a pullback to this broken support and it acts as resistance, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form at this confluence of resistance and downward sloping trend line. And we're going to be looking to take shorts down towards the 110.108 target on this pair, which could be done next week if we get the right kind of setups in the US dollar Japanese yen. The next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Now, pound US dollar has started making its way down from the 1.3100 area over here, and it pulled back down to the 1.29580 area, which is a key area of support and resistance on this pair, as you can see, came up and tested it here. Yes, it fell a little bit short, but just remember these are areas, these are not specific levels. Came up and tested it as resistance over here. You can see it tested it as support, as resistance. So this is a very well-defined support and resistance level. Now, last week, price held above the 1.29580 area, and it started to break out of the downward sloping trend line here, as you can see. So now we have that break. What we are looking for is to initiate longs in the pound US dollar next week. And we're going to be looking for those bullish formations and patterns to appear either where we are now, or we could get a, a pullback and a retest of the 1.29580, which would provide a brilliant place to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're looking to the upside of the target of 1.31510, which is our first target, which we just fell short of last week, as you can see. So we are expecting this now to possibly be tested this week. And once that target is hit, we do have another target to the upside, which we are looking for the jet pound US dollar to go to, which is the 1.32051. That's the next key area of resistance to the upside in the pound US dollar. Now, as you can see, if I pull the charts down a little bit, we do in fact have a third target, although this third target may not be hit this week. It may take a couple of weeks to get up to here. And the third target we're looking for, which is a very significant area of resistance on the pound US dollar, is the 1.33 psychological area. So this is our third target to the upside in the pound US dollar. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear pretty much from the start of the week here from where we sit. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar franc. Now US dollar franc came down and hit our target we had last week at the 0.9500 area. And as you can see, it bounced from this area, gave a little pullback bit of accumulation and it broke through. So what we're now looking for is a possible retest of this broken support level to act as resistance. Now if we get this retest, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts and we're going to be looking all the way down to the 0.93440, which is the next key area of support on this pair. So you can see we are in a downtrend and as long as we stay in this downtrend and we don't start breaking out higher, then we are going to be looking at initiating shorts. We're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking down towards the 0.93440 as the next key area of support on the US dollar franc. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now, Aussie US dollar is also in an uptrend and we are expecting some further declines in the US dollar index next week. We had a pullback in the Aussie US dollar and as you can see, it came back and tested the key area of support here in the four hour charts of the 0.79018. Now we've had a pullback to this area. It does look like it's set to push higher. So as long as we stay above the 0.79018 level, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs on the Aussie US dollar. And we're looking, first of all, up to a target of the 0.80370. And we're also looking for a second target to the upside, possibly uh, next week as well, at the 0.81000 area, which these are the next two key areas of resistance on this pair. So as you can see, if we can get some nice entries on the Aussie US dollar from the 0.79001 area down here, we could have some really nice trades in the Aussie US dollar as long as they play out and this continues to push higher with the bulls taking control uh, and keeping this momentum going in the Aussie US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now US dollar CAD has started to break lower and as you can see, it tried the 
1.25814 area down here. Tried to break through here. Tested it once, support. Tested it as support again. Came down, tested it very deeply as support, but ending up coming all the way back up and actually trading back above the level. And now it has finally broken down and it started to trade down below the 1.25814. So going into next week, we do have a target to the downside of 1.24634. And what we'd like to see is a pullback and a retest of the broken support level over here at 1.25814, possibly even a retest or a test of the downward sloping trend line here. And if we get this kind of push to the upside and we start to see the right kind of bearish formations and patterns that we're looking for in the lower time frames, we're going to look to initiate shorts from this area over here. And we're going to be looking down to the target of the 1.24634. And if we get a sell off in the US dollar index next week, this should help push this to the downside. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand US dollar. Now New Zealand US dollar is trending to the upside as you can see making higher highs, higher lows. What we're expecting now is a possible pullback in New Zealand US dollar, possibly a pullback even down to the 0.73655 which is a key area of resistance over here as you can see also going back over here which was held multiple times over here before eventually it broke. Now, if we get a pullback and a retest of the broken resistance, which is acting as support, and we start to see bullish formations and patterns appearing in this area, then we're going to first of all be looking up to the target of the 0.74840. And then we also have a higher target up here at the 0.75680. So we are looking at initiating longs in the New Zealand US dollar next week if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns. Just bear in mind that these support and resistance areas don't always have to be retested guys. So if we start to see a pullback and maybe we get a pattern here, bullish pattern, or we start to see some accumulation or something, then we're still gonna be looking at initiating longs on this trade. But ideally, if it does pull back to the broken resistance level, that gives an even better place to start looking for bullish formations and patterns to initiate the longs up to the two targets that we have set here. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. Now Euro Pound has started to push to the upside and you can see it broke key area of resistance over here at the 0.89378. We did start to get a pullback and I tested this area over here and it does now look like it's starting to push higher. We are next week going to look to initiate longs on the euro pound and we're looking for a target to the upside of the 0.90916. So that's the next key area resistance on this pair and that is the target that we'll be looking for in the euro pound. Just bear in mind if it fails to maintain above the 0.89376 area, we may get a little bit of a pullback and a retest here. This is a very good area to look for bullish formations and patterns, although we might start just to trade up pretty much from where we are now. But if we do get a breakdown below here, we're looking down towards the 0.88615 as the next key area of support in the euro pound. So this could also provide a very good place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns to the upside. First of all, testing this 0.89378 as a resistance area. And after breaking through here, if we get a breakthrough here, maybe a pullback, and then we can look again back up to the target of 0.90916. So we're looking to initiate longs and we have two key levels of support on this pair where these longs come from, very good places to look for bullish formations and patterns in the euro pound next week. And the final pair we're going to look at this week is euro yen. Now euro yen was trading in a range as you can see between this level here and this level here, bouncing up, bouncing down as resistance, acting as support. But it broke through the top of the range last week and it broke up above the 129.495 area over here. And now we're looking for this failed resistance to become support. And as you can see, it actually traded down and it's sitting right at this level now going into next week. So what we're going to be looking for next week is bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area where it sits now. And if we get those right kind of bullish formations and patterns, we're going to look to initiate longs, first of all, up to the 131.500 area. Then we have a second target to the upside of 132.440. And then the third resistance to the upside here is the 133.262. If we get a break back down into the range, we can start looking for the range bottom in the euro yen. But ideally, we'd like for it to maintain itself above the range top over here. And we should be looking at 
a couple of these targets at least next week to the upside if we can maintain this bullish momentum uh, throughout the week. So that is it from me for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. I hope you all have a very profitable week next week. Take care and trade safely.